in Ireland, in Scotland, declaring independence. They've got them in Reykjavik, Iceland, Spain, Greece, Italy, everywhere. They've got Tea Party members of parliament in Italy going to Bilderberg meetings and getting beaten up. And then the state police respond by coming in and backing them up and letting them go in and threatening to start arresting people in the hotel. And then Bilderberg Group members the next morning on Saturday, never before, helicopters were flying them out because the police at the state level turned against them in Switzerland. We were there. I mean, we're getting close, ladies and gentlemen. You know the story of William Tell and the Swiss? It's a true story. The apple, the whole nine yards. The Swiss are like the Texans of Europe. And ladies and gentlemen, the police, two years ago, now three years ago in Switzerland, Paul Watson was there covering it in HD when the Bilderberg security beat up the member of the Italian parliament who marched in there. The state police showed up and marched in and said, we'll start arresting you and said, you will talk to this delegation. And we had a whole bunch of the Canton leaders from all over the country, the state leaders who actually run Switzerland, their federal government's weak, states run it, the Cantons, marched in and the Bilderberg people have started evacuating. And it was so epic, it took me a few days to figure out what had just happened. My point is, it can be like Ceausescu in Romania. These people could fall in hours if we want them to. And I'm not saying they're going to fall in hours today. It's a figure of speech. There will come times when tyrants fall in hours, when Babylon the Great falls in an hour. And the merchants of the earth who trafficked in men's souls will beat themselves on their breast and say, Babylon, Babylon the Great, it has fallen in one hour. These worldly people are the losers, ladies and gentlemen, not the winners. It's easy to cheat and get ahead until the termites eat through the foundation and everything collapses. It's easy for cancer to grow and take over the body and think it's winning until it kills the host. So epic. And it hit me like a ton of bricks today. I mean, I know we've been saying it, but it hit me so strong. It's real. They are imploding the entire border. And advertising in Mexican newspapers and on NPR. We're doing a story on this right now. NPR has had a show the last week they've been airing where they raise money to send money to think tanks in Mexico to give the kids money, plane tickets, and bags, and, and sack lunches to fly them to the United States and to bust them to the border and stage them where the illegals are just pouring across whole hog and effectively like a blitzkrieg Nazi invasion of France, we are completely overrun. I mean, we are witnessing dizzying treason. I mean, treason isn't even a strong enough word. And no one in history has had traitors inside their government do something like this. There's never been a war like this. This is so high-tech and sophisticated. As the power plants are turned off, as the Obamacare shuts down the small businesses and bankrupts the blue-collar workers with payroll tax increases, and it's all called liberal because it's a supposed black guy as the figurehead, and Obama announces on CBS News, I just got chills two nights ago, that, that he wants to look at executive orders for Australian gun bans of everything down to single shot. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then they got the nerve to announce today. Boehner comes out and says, you're weak, Obama. Iraq's going up in smoke and you're sleeping, close quote. Obama's not sleeping. Now there's the RT headline, Obama cites Australian gun confiscation program as example for U.S. Red alert, red alert, that's Reuters. Red alert, 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 RT, Reuters now reporting gun confiscation plan, red alert, red alert. And then they publicly are funding Al-Qaeda to take over Iraq while claiming they're fighting them.
Red alert! From hackers and identity thieves to government spies, your online privacy has never been more at risk. Go to unseennow.com and learn how their unparalleled encryption tools can keep your communications totally secure. Unseennow.com offers email, chat, voice and video calling, and cloud storage all for free. It's never been more important to lock down your digital life, and now you can. Stop Big Brother in his tracks. Learn how at unseennow.com. Our founders pledged their lives, fortunes, and sacred honor to fight tyranny, and it's time to fight again. I'm Tisha Cassidy, and I'm running as an independent for Congress in Colorado. I fight to end the military police state, ban GMO toxic foods, and abolish legal tender laws. Consider donating some of your hard-earned fiat currency to help me fight. Donate $25 or more, and you'll receive a gift to awaken others. I need and appreciate your support. Please donate at Cassidy2014.com. That's C-A-S-I-D-A 2014.com. Paid for by the Committee to Elect Tisha Cassidy to Congress. It's time for a home security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. The best free fuel stoves on the market for disasters and survival are Silverfire. Its clean cook stove technology allows you to pasteurize emergency drinking water, cook a meal, or sanitize your cookware with just twigs. A U.S. veteran-owned company, Silverfire's mission is emergency and recreation cooking products. Made of quality stainless steel, Silverfire's wide line of indoor and outdoor models range from solo backpack models to large family units. Cook cleanly and for free. Get yours today at silverfire.us. That's silverfire.us. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com I hear the train coming, it's rolling around the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in fools in prison, and time keeps dragging on. Coming up in the next segment, but that train keeps rolling on down the sand. Immigration shelter photos, feds treat illegal aliens in San Antonio Air Force Base better than veterans. And we're going to have Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs in studio, who was down there with Kit Daniels, who wrote this article, and we're adding more HD video still shots to it, shot through the privacy fence inside the base. They have this whole area with fences up, and the press isn't allowed in. Breitbart is at a mole 
in Houston at one of the major distribution centers around the country getting some photos out. We went in and got some of the only other photos. Mainstream media is basically engaged in a blackout of actual photos and real journalism. They're just spinning it like how sweet Obama is taking care of the illegal kids or the immigrant children. And then NPR, we got a report coming out on this this afternoon, has a promo going on all its shows to raise money, taxpayer-funded radio, to ship the kids from all over the world here as America implodes. And veterans are living on the streets everywhere. I'm talking about veterans that don't have drug problems. That's going on. But the illegals, the teenagers, are just pouring in. And then Obama could say, they're children. In fact, he came out and said, this is part of our new dream act. Come to El Norte. No one has ever done this. This is the federal government directly encouraging and helping ship in teenagers to be put directly on the federal welfare breast, the federal mammary gland, with taxpayer money to then be obedient servants to ban guns at the voting booth. I mean, it, it's here. And this is just the beginning. So many tens of thousands are pouring across a day. We've had Border Patrol agents send us reports that have been published that Drudge has carried and others, that this is the beginning. This is just the breakdown of the border. Once it fully collapses, collapsed, failed Mexico can fully collapse the U.S. Cloward and Piven, Agenda 21 will be complete. Total bankruptcy of the U.S. Driving down wages, taxes so high, blue collar can't work, shutdown of everything. But they've still got enough factory farms that will get government contracts and fiat money like HEB and Walmart. So they'll make money feeding the mass as we go from 50 plus percent not working and being dependent to 70, 80 percent. They will then vote to take the 20 percent middle class money gone the ladder to wealth gone the globalists will sit in luxembourg and in london and in vienna and they will sit in the major cities of switzerland exempt from everything laughing as this country and europe go down remember what tony blair got caught doing they would open the tunnel up for years the tunnel let illegals in france in a secret deal with france this came out I remember reporting on this in the late 90s, but later, years later, came out. It was a secret plan. To up Tony Blair's secret plan to bring in illegals. To bring in Ill illegals by the millions over his, was it, eight, nine years of tenure. And the French would stage it with the UN at the train stations, load the trains, and then the Border Patrol at the outside of the tunnel would turn their backs, videos of this, as the people yelling and celebrating as invading armies from Eastern Europe, Asia, Africa, you name it, unskilled diseases, criminals, you name it, giant flotillas of Romanian gypsies, you name it, pouring in in mass. And within years, they are CPS workers and police. And I've had members of the British Parliament on from the Liberal Party admitting that, not just UKIP. When the CPS comes to a UK person's house, they don't even speak English. And they come from countries where they take kids. You give them trouble, they whistle, and an armored vehicle pulls up, guys jump out with machine guns. They're now arming the police. Your kids are gone. And I know Americans that have gone to England and had their teenage kids taken. That's a big scandal. You go to Britain, they may take your kids. Folks, we're hitting red level evil. They do what they want, when they want. And it's on. It's on. Veterans get death panels. Veterans don't get surgery. Veterans get put on a list and have their guns taken. I mean, I run into veterans that are well-spoken and really nice people when I've been down shooting videos. Uh, I mean, super clean cut, smart people, black, white, Hispanic, you name it. And they all ride bikes, they live downtown, bicycles, and they're homeless. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.